Hey guys, beat you Mike. Welcome back to another episode of Yan Dairy Simulator. And boy, do we have a special one for you guys today. You guys may think this is going to be clickbait, but mark my words when I say we are going to call Osana and then go to her house. That is right. I have Osana's address, okay? Don't ask me how I got it. Okay, all right, all right. Well, it's ringing right now, okay, guys? Hello? Oh, he hello? O Osana? <gasps> Um, I'm gonna actually, um, come to your house and, uh, crawl up, uh, to your window and break in. Is that cool with you? Okay, okay, fine. I won't call the police. Uh, great. Awesome. Okay, alright, thank you so much. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Okay. And as you can see, guys, that was totally real and not fake. Uh... I know what you guys are thinking. Michael, there's absolutely no way in tarnation you could possibly go to Osana's house. Because, first of all, you can't go through the barrier that's at the end of the school. You obviously don't know who beat you the Mikester is, do you? Today we step where no man has stepped before! Outside of the school! How did he do that? What a savage he is! I know guys, I'm thinking the same exact thing. I'm actually amazed by this. I, I didn't even know, I haven't done this until right, right now. Oh no, we can't go back! We've been exiled from school. In case you guys are wondering, we are playing the newest build, the uh, June 7th, which today uh, would be... Oh, wow, June 7th. And quite obviously, this is a mod that allows us to go outside of the school. It is not a feature in the game. I'm sorry to clickbait you guys. I didn't clickbait you. I don't even know what I did for the thumbnail. <laughs> As you can, it plainly says mod by AMZE. Guys, if you don't know who I uh, AMZE is, they're an awesome YouTube channel that makes a lot of Yandere Simulator mod and content. So guys, I've done mods by them by you know before. Check them out. Link in the description if you haven't already. They just released this today, and I thought... Let's do it! And plus, Yandere have just released a video with some interesting information that involves, uh, Osana's, uh, house and possibly her elimination method. We will be checking all that out and soon in this episode, okay? Now, to be honest, I don't actually know if we can go to Osana's house, but I'm thinking that maybe that is it because, uh, let's just actually, before we, we explore this, let's, uh, show you Yandere Dev's video. Yandere Dev released a video, uh, a day ago, I believe, saying, where's Osana? Because any fan of Yandere Simulator knows that's a, a big issue is WHERE'S OSANA?! There, everyone wants to know where OSANA is and that's like the main priority. Well, guys, I'll link Yandere Dev's video down below and plus at the end is what I'm really gonna be talking about. But, you guys already know my thoughts on this. I don't really care when OSANA's gonna get here. Um, Yandere Dev just basically talks about in his video that it, he made a, such a big mistake to emphasize OSANA so much when really that, you know, there's a lot more stuff that needs to be done in the game, which hey, it's totally cool with me. I know there's uh, a lot of people that disagree, but it doesn't really matter. I sense a very ser a serious tone in this video. I think <laughs> I think Andre Dev's getting tired of it, but he does admit that you know he probably shouldn't have said it so much about Osana. Honestly, the way I see it, as long as there's some progress being made to the game, is you know, I I felt like personally he does a pretty good job of keeping us updated about when progress is made. I mean, there's always something being done to it. I mean, if you really, I know it's been a while, but if you look back at the game before, it's totally different from what it used to be. So, e even if it is longer progress than what you guys expect, I feel like there's a lot being done. Just my personal opinion, you don't have to agree. Guys, make sure to check out Yandere Dev's video, I don't know if I said that, probably did, but you know, it's, it's a big idea, or big deal, to check out his video because this is a spoiler. And basically, he proves that he has been making, uh, you know, updates and stuff and, and making progress towards Osana, and here it is. Oh, and by the way, I actually have made progress on Osana. Oh my god, Yandere Chan freaking hopped out fits! I'm just not showing you, because I want it to be a surprise. Whoa! Oh my god! Wow! Yandere Chan can fly? Woo! Is that joke getting old yet? It probably is. I remember, um, some time back, Yandere Dev posted an animation of, uh, uh, Yandere Chan climbing a ladder. I, I think it was blurred out. It was really hard to remember exactly how it looked, but we're finally got it, you know, seeing how that happens. And I think what I'm most uh, interested in when it comes to that little part about her climbing up to someone's window is the fact that we're getting a, a new environment, which really looks like outside of the school. I mean, we have these new houses that used to be that just that basic storefront kind of looking thing where you couldn't, you know, it didn't look like you could really walk into it. You could see it on a lot of people's videos, you know, it's obviously a thing that a lot of people can use. But now there's actual houses, so who would have thought that that had to do with Osana? So Osana's gonna have an actual house. I mean, we're gonna have a neighborhood to walk around. Which is, you know, why I wanted to download this thing. I don't know if 
we're going to be able to see anything about that so there might be a spoiler alert who knows either way i'm really excited and i can't wait to go stalking osana you know in her house okay it's it's a perfect uh, thing a yandere would do so my goal here is to use this mod by amze to see if we can find osana's house uh i have no idea oh why can you see that house through there that's weird Knock, knock. Oh, I can go through the house. <laughs> Keep in mind, whatever we do find out here or whatever is out here is obviously unfinished. You know, every time we do a mod, guys, you never report it to Yandere Dev. That's pretty obvious and basic information that mods don't count. <laughs> Literally, they don't count. Hey, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen what's her face. Freaking uh, Megami. Are the old like silhouette of Megami. Is somebody there? I remember when this was such a big feature or a big deal that when we found her. This is pretty interesting though. You know, this is a new thing we've never saw before. We, we even have a street. It's seriously quite groundbreaking. I want to take a good look around and see if we can find that little lattice thing. I think that's what that's called. Lattice? Basically, like it's a kind of like a decoration that you can make plants grow on. So this mod is actually called the Boundary Break mod, and uh, it's it's very well named because that's literally what we're doing. If you guys know the YouTube channel that does Boundary Break, it's always what it really like really reminds me of. And we do that a lot with other games. We've done it the Bindi, Hello Neighbor, and uh, you know now it's Yandere Simulator. I'm actually really surprised. There's a lot of houses. There's a lot more houses than there really needs to be. At least I feel like like it goes on for days. So many houses. This also makes me think that maybe. Maybe now the um, the town will be redone because you know the town has you know if you guys remember the town used to be a thing you can go to and you can now lo no longer do that it didn't really seem to it seemed like an idea but obviously it was never finished and it was really bare a lot like this if you really think about it except sadly now we do not have a bicycle I should actually go back on the video and see if we can find out maybe which one Osana's house would be okay i mean if we're going to be a yandere we gotta play the yandere as being a stalker we have to prepare to be a stalker <laughs> i that sounds bad guys don't take that out of context so our house has flowers eh all right i don't know if we can see the school from here but we need to find some flowers so her house definitely looks a lot different than all the other houses hey we can even climb the mountains oh my god i'm hiking <laughs> who knew yandere chan was a hiker wow i probably will fall off the edge if i keep going Wow, what is actually all, all, all the way out here? It's too bad we can't use the, the, the no clip mod right now because then it would be a lot easier. It's kind of, it's actually really hard to see. It's really hard to see, but the town is actually pretty big. I'm surprised. Oh, you know what we should do? We should use an Easter egg. Let's use Falcon mode. Or what? probably something that would be, I don't know, let's use Falcon mode. There we go. Now we're moving somewhere. We're going real fast now. Okay, so we should probably go more ahead uh, this way because it seems like... It seems like the, if the house was here, it would definitely be somewhere around here because we can actually walk on the ground. Over there, there was no ground to walk on. So if it were to be a house, it's probably one of these houses. I actually didn't know when I started this that there would be Osana's house here. I was just kind of hoping that we would be able to find it. Well, sadly, guys, I, yeah, Osana's house is definitely not here. We did look around, and there's just a lot of these empty-looking buildings. But, you know, what do we expect? I, I know Yandere Dev expects people to make these kinds of mods, and, of course, wouldn't want to add stuff in the game uh, like that, you know, recklessly. But I still thought it was pretty interesting, just the fact that we can do this and walk around and, and just see what the town kind of looks like. I'm really excited for the new features to come whenever that does uh, happen. Uh, we're also under the school, as you can plainly see. We can go into the pool. And uh, things like that. But that's not all we're gonna do in this build. There's actually been some new additions and things we kind of missed last episode. If you guys did miss last episode where we examined the, the photography club and had a really big laugh about their names, then you might want to click this uh, eye that pops up and I'll try to link it right there. But just imagine this is Osana's house right here and we're just standing out here throwing little pebbles to her window and she doesn't answer of course so that's why we climb up there with a knife and uh, kill her because she didn't answer. That's what, that's what you should do, right? People you like? Really? I don't want to be any part of that. I think if anyone's a real stalker, it's probably Megami because she's just like chilling out here behind people's houses in the alley. I don't know. I think it gives the, you know, the student council president a pretty bad uh, look, if you ask me. Oh, wow. What the heck? So the photography club's actually been updated. They don't look, well, they don't look the same anymore. Ooh. Have their names been changed? Um, a lot of you guys gave me crap in the last episode about saying, uh, Shaggy's name wrong. What was his name again? Norman? Norman what? I, f I actually literally forgot. Oh, but that's nice. So, sh sh Shugi? I was literally gonna call them Shugi. Shugi, the knockoff Scooby-Doo show. <laughs> oh, wow, Daphne looks a lot different. I'm just calling her Daphne. I, it's, it's Daphne. So you can see, kind of give him a more of a, a, a personal look, I see. Oh, she even got freckles now. It's Beru Beruma. Also, 
get this guys we forgot to check the uh, gym club because there was actually some new props added there so I wonder if that is because uh, preparation of a new club like the the physical edge club I don't know like <laughs> I know there's gonna be a rival that has a lot to do with uh freaking the the PE PE club the gym whatever you like to call it it was uh, Asu right Asu Rita was her name uh, I believe there's now stuff added in the storage room oh my god I'm stuck oh 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 Wow, wow, this brings back old memories. Guys, remember when there actually used to be a storage room inside of uh, the game? I remember that. And also, you weren't able to walk through the gym, too. But you can see that, you know, the gym has not been a large focus. After all, I believe most of the focus is just getting the main features, like he said in his video, and then to get Osana in the game. And then do all the, you know, all the other stuff that needs to be done. But yeah, guys, I, I would like to pass off the question, okay? Not copying Philip DeFranco. What do you guys think, huh? Do you think Osana's taking too long, or do you not care? Do you want to see more builds? Because literally, I mean, for me at least, it means if the game's gonna take longer, then we can play it longer and have more fun with it. But from a person that just wants to play the game, I could kind of see their perspective on it. So what do you guys think? Also, another thing we needed to do was try to, like, murder one of the club members in front of the other one and see how they react. We actually totally missed that. So I think if we kill one of them in front of other people, well, they'll, they'll obviously attack us. What we need to do oh, is get them hey. to follow us. Welcome to our little getaway. <laughs> Sparring match? Why can we have a spar- We didn't join the martial arts club. Why can we have a sparring Zero. match? Oh, I just- I just noticed they have, like, uh, their own, like, uh, little poses. Oh, they're like robots. I don't think they're actually supposed to do it at the same time. They're supposed to alternate, but they, like, synced up so perfectly. Yeah, see, look, they- they sunk- they synced up so perfectly. Guys, oh my god, is the photography club I robots? Ooh! Sweet. Help yourself to some snacks if you'd like. Also, yeah, can you actually eat the snacks? You got I, I swear someone in the comment section of last video said you could eat chips and you I totally got clickbaited. Oh my god guys How could you you get mad at me for clickbaiting, but you clickbait me back so unfair I can't even eat a single potato chip. Wow. Wow. I will eat this potato chip if you guys if you guys know where that's from drop a like and drop a comment Okay, I bet you don't even know where that's from because you guys are not anime fans Not like me you don't have the kind of gear that I have. If anyone should be a part of this club, it should be me. I should be part of the, the weeb club. I want to be part of it. Did I ever actually tell you guys about the time I joined uh, the anime club at my high school? I really did. There was an anime club. And let me tell you, I am a big fan of anime. I love anime. I go to Anime Expo literally every year. I'm literally, look what I'm wearing, okay? If that doesn't tell you that I'm an anime fan, then I don't know what does. I will say this, though. That club was the worst experience of my life. Uh, let me tell you this, and I, I'm not saying that all anime fans are like this, but definitely the, the the ones that were in that club, it was really bad, okay? And I, I, I joke around and I call myself a weeb, but that club was bad, okay? I literally went to one meeting there, and, you know, I thought it'd be cool because, you know, I loved anime, I, I, I watched it all the time. I went there, and literally everyone was screaming their heads off in that class, no, like, no one could have an intelligent conversation. I think one time we watched an anime uh, movie, which was cool. But other than that, it was just a lot of screaming and it was so in utter chaos. You know the teacher didn't give a crap and was just sitting there staring at his computer. Like, didn't even try, you know, it was after hours. It was after school when we went to the club. He didn't give a crap. He just, he know, he was probably getting some extra money to get, you know, to do that. I don't know. The moral of the story is, you know, there's anime fans and then there's people that take you too far. I will just say that. And that's coming from a person that owns two body pillows, okay? So, what does that tell you? I, I don't know what that tells you. And also, please wear deodorant. Like, it's not hard. Like, <laughs> it's not hard, just wear deodorant, okay? Have you ever been to a convention and you're in this room full of people that do not put on underarm deodorant? It is not hard to do. It's two seconds, okay? I mean, I'll admit, like, I get some- I get stanky sometimes, but God. I mean, I smell myself and then I can- well, I hate myself! <laughs> I have to go put on some deodorant or I just- I will just shrivel up and die if I don't. So please, take it from the BG Meister. Just put deodorant on, I beg of you. Especially for the ones that are going to Anime Expo this year, because I don't want to deal with it. And that has been a service message from BG Mike. Oh, there's also been some new props added to the- 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 the, 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 the announcement room. Didn't even know. It's looking great! Alright, so, first order of business is what I said I was gonna do early. We need a knife. And we need to go to the club and see the reactions. We need to get them to get out of their club, though. I mean, after all, maybe we won't kill them, but we will kill someone. 
Someone's dying, and that someone is always Midori. <laughs> Let's give the mystery gang a mystery to, to work at. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go to Mr. Turtle and forgive our sins. Now, this is the thing I'm a little confused on. I don't know if it's going to, uh, uh, you know, stop them from trying to find me or anything like that. But let's go ahead and forgive sins, Mr. Turtle. Thank you so much. Always pray to the turtle when in doubt. Wait, who seen that? Oh, they, yeah, okay, they found it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get to safety. Don't you want to investigate? He's like, oh, that's a good day today. I'm just really enjoying this. And, uh... All right, he's, he's broken. <laughs> Scoob, did you have too many Scooby snacks? What are you doing? Now that someone's been murdered on school grounds, and obviously we're not gonna be connected to it. Oh, we have a knife. That's a problem, isn't it? Jinkies, guys! Oh my god! I, I found a body outside! This calls for the mystery gang! We have a mystery on our hands. We gotta figure out who did it. And then all of a sudden they catch me and they take off Yandere Chan's mask. It was Senpai, Senpai, and Senpai says, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you silly kids, anime kids, and I don't know where I'm going with this. In that silly dog of yours that just does circles. Oh wait, there's another mask. Scrub Chan, it was you. <laughs> and I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you silly kids. You guys have been asking me about Scrub Chan. I thought this was a good opportunity. I mean, Scrub Chan is the game. For all we know, Scrub Chan did kill those poor students. It definitely wasn't me. Oh yeah, that's right. The club has to disband after that. So they won't have their cameras anymore? That's pretty sad. <laughs> they may have took our cameras away, but we still have our cell phones. So yeah, they still do investigate, it seems like. I know I could just read the patch notes or, you know, the change log or whatever you guys would like to call it in, in the blog post, but I'm too lazy. Oh, what the? Look at them go! Look at them go! They are so ready to find someone! Who are you guys even hunting anyway? Hmm. <laughs> so they actually run. They, they just run. They're like, wow, we have to go investigate real soon. They definitely stand out and, you know, they deserve the title of Mystery Gang. Don't talk to me. Oh. I know you killed someone. I'll make sure everyone knows what you've done. How do you know that? You don't know nothing. I, I was forgiven for my sins by Mr. Turtle. I clearly did nothing. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I know you killed someone. I'll make sure everyone knows what you've done. Oh my god, Scooby can talk? Today's group of the day goes to... Juan Jacobo Aravello. And I was trying to be scrub of the day since the first day I watched one of your vids. Angry face, angry face, cry, cry, cry. Listen guys. This is how nice I am. <laughs> I know it's frustrating, guys. You you want to be scrub of the day because it literally is probably the most important thing that uh, anyone can do in their life is to be scrub of the day. Just bestowed scrub of the day. It seriously gives you access to so many things. Uh, it gives you a free subscription to YouTube Red. Not to mention the uh, also uh, premium account of Roblox. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome. So, guys, make sure you leave those comments down below. Subscribe and hit that bell if, if you... If you like to not miss out on any uploads, guys, okay, there's a good chance a lot of you have missed this upload because you didn't hit the bell, so this is where it changed today, okay? Also, feel free to watch some more videos right here, guys. Thank you so much. Anything I missed, please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. I, I don't want to be any part of that.